And now we just wasted our holiday doing nothing. I'm sorry, I just wanted to talk, okay? Don't you guys ever think about having pets? Not in the world we live in right now, they'd probably kill me. You're not wrong. They probably would kill you. Cause these pets are terrifying. Yup, this is how we get to LA. We gotta go through this. Well, there is something over there. But yup, it's a maze. So yup, the swamp, it's a maze. And you got deadly creatures. Some similar to what you fought before, and others new. So be prepared for pain. Oh no, another spider, how terrifying. Kill all of them. So yep, another place I would hate to be in that's not a fucking fun place to travel to, a swamp. Now they like being in a place where there's a lot of weird creatures that hide in the water. Either that live in there normally, it can surprise you and kill you. Or those that use it as camouflage. Like freaking, oh no. Oh, is it used like alligators? Never fun. Always beware of camouflaged animals. You never know what to expect out of it. They suck. Anyway, welcome back, everybody, to more Let's Play Earthbound Zero. This is your host, the MJ4106. And we are exploring the swamp where we're fighting a lot of similar enemies that we fought before. So, not much crazy is going on, but, well, it's something, I guess. And at least we're going to deal with some enemies that are fun and painful. Definitely painful. Oh, Mega Saucer A wood shield. That critical hit didn't do much of anything. God damn it. Ugh. Well, attack him again. You might kill it. And you can attack Saucer B again. I need to get rid of that Ultra Far, but it is strong. You know, these Omega Saucers really are not strong at all. Is this gonna be where them using their actual psychic power? That's what sucks. If they actually get to that point, then it's a little dangerous. There are a lot of aliens around, I gotta say, though. Like, good lord. You think aliens would try to hide themselves a little better? They know they're on a neighboring plane. You think they'd try to be a little more incognito? To not freak out the species? Man, I'm sure if they were that advanced, they'd probably have enough study to be able to figure out if we're that advanced to expect something like that. Well, let's see if I can heal everybody. And again, this is a stupid idea, see is. Well, that cost 17. That was the dumbest thing I've done so far. You just wanted an excuse to try to steal PP, didn't you? Yeah, to a point. He just trying to PSI shield himself again. Well, either way, he's dead. He's a waste of time. So? Yep, we're gonna explore a swamp and hope to find some wonderful things that aren't these aliens trying to kill me at every turn. That's a lot of annoying aliens here. A lot of annoying aliens. And again... Huh. I wonder if we treat aliens the same way we treat... people with different skin colors. Or at least that we have. That we have. It's not a fun thing to do. Yet for some reason I expect a lot of racism from humanity. They just are, man. But again, people love to have people love to think they're better than everybody else. That's just kind of what it is. Oh, well, buddy, we're up to the next level. It's fight increased by two, speed increased by one, wisdom increased by three, strength increased by one, force increased by two, and HP increased by four. Cool, good for you, bro. But yeah, People always have to think, no matter what their beliefs or ideals or physical traits are, that they're always better than everybody else. Like, why do they feel like they always need to bring other people down? Like, what the hell? We go against people based on their skin color, their gender. Oh, hang on, whole level up. Fight increased by one, speed increased by two, wisdom increased by four, strength increased by one, force increased by three, and speed increased by three. No PP, women. Yeah, they got no PP. <laughs> Sorry. But yeah, we freaking we freaking label people based off so many stupid things, and we have to like say things about them in their groups for no reason too. Like what the fuck? We're all people at the end of the day. Why does it all have to be so freaking like mean? Like what the hell? What is wrong with people? Why can't we all just get along? Like we're all humans. I believe it's more based on your actions, not exactly what 
you look like or what you what physically makes you what you are to a point huh I'm Buddy's father what why are you in a trash can I think Dick's dad asked have you told him your name um no let me mention your name once more oh right you have another opportunity to answer your name what do you believe in? Who is the god of this world? Well, it's obvious already. Like, come on. You look at all the aliens flying around. It feels like they're watching all over us. Like a bunch of flying spaghetti monsters. What? Are you sure that spelled correctly? Yep. Okay, that's fine. Please look at everybody. He is a real weakling. Wow. Anybody's father. I think Dick's dad asked. Have you told him your name? Well, I guess you can always register. Okay, that's fine. Look at everybody, he's a real weakling. Okay, so I didn't have to go back to Snowman and do it. On the phone, but yep, you got that too. Sweet pee, -pee we meet once more, Dick! Whoa! When did you get here? Don't say anything, but I didn't tell my mom I came here. I was be tired, why are you staying here tonight? Oh! Nice place to rest. Good morning! Wow! Pee, pee And who is this chick? Oh, come on. Don't worry about her, Hole. She's nobody. I'm nobody? Yeah, you're nobody. Jesus Christ, dude! <laughs> I'm kidding. There you go, you got a nice place to heal at least halfway through. We're actually not having it be that bad here. Huh. You know, I was expecting a lot more coming through this place. I thought the enemies were supposed to get dangerous, but they're still the same things I've dealt with already. Maybe it's one to get closer to LA gets bad. Because there are caves it looked like to go into. That might be where it gets scary. I don't know. But I don't... Oh, no. Oh, no. Now I'm scared. I should probably PSI block. It's Kelly. Okay. See what she's capable of. Ow! Jesus, that hurt. There you go. Can't use her PSI now. Got me tricked by her beauty. So, Nancy had her smile, and Kelly has straight-up beauty. Well... Fuck. This could be bad. No, I'm not prepared. Alright, let's see what happens. Ow. God. Let's do a lot of physical attacks. I don't know what else it has, though. I need to wait to see if it has a PSI. Well, don't need to worry about it. Take that, Kelly. Oh, so they upgraded Nancy. Okay, so we are dealing with tougher enemies. I didn't see a PSI from that, but I imagine there probably has something stronger. Let's try it again. This time, be prepared for anything. Do PSI block in the meantime. Darkness! Oh no, it can blind! Okay, Dick did not get blinded. Good. Okay, so she can blind people. That's cool. I mean, yeah, why not? Be prepared for pain. And yep, a darling smile increases its defense again. Alright then. I just guard and then try to kill it with PKP beta. The best I can do. Ow! Don't you dare hurt hole like that! Huh. It seems to... Oh. So, it doesn't look like it's affected by too much. Okay. Try regular PK freeze. And again, defense did raise up. Well, screw you then. Yeah, it's not worth doing that. Just continue trying to kill the fucking thing already. Oh yeah, I never tried that new PK Freeze move. The one that should do a lot of damage. You basically put it near put them near death. It never fully kills, it always puts them near death though, which is good to know. Well, that was quite the experience. Oh, he learned like a beta! Oh my man! Good! Now you can heal her! Like a real man should be. Good for you, man. Good for you. You know, we could just go back and sleep at her place. I don't want to be with her anymore, guys. She's clingy. I knew it. Don't worry about it. Don't be jealous. Bison! Uh-oh. Every time I see a new enemy now, I'm afraid. Okay, let's see. What's this bison like, I wonder? Strong. At least only a mother could love. I guess in a way. Ow! Yeah, I guess it, it would be that way, huh? So now we have a freaking 
a bison. I wanted to call it a buffalo, but they are different. Still, oh no. This can be paid for if I'm not ready. Ugh, oh, shit. So, we have those strong creatures. All right, now we're getting to the strong enemies. Once you get to the rest area, then things get tough. You just have to know your right way through the maze. And again, there's no enemies out here. Okay, we're from alligator to crocodile. And there's a lot of them. Fuck. I don't like that, but there's a lot of them. Do I have anything? I can hit numerous enemies. Other than PK fire. Uh... I think I need to upgrade the other magic before I have things I can hit, hit numerous enemies. Well, just do fire for now. So, here we are. The crocodiles. I thought they got a tough freeze skin, and I was right. Damn, their defense seems kind of high, too. If he smiles, don't smile back. <laughs> oh, cool. I mean, you want to you wanna eat together. Oh, God! Ow! Damn, it went after all of us! Shit! All right, you can get fire again. We'll heal after the battle, as long as everybody survives. So, yep, crocodiles. Each one individually may not be too strong, but it's their large numbers that can make them horrible. Oh, God, she's dead, isn't she? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, she's dead. Oh, B is approaching slowly. Kill it, kill it with fire! Well, I finally killed it. And you know what battles like these? It's probably better just killing them off one at a time. Oh no. He's ready to die too. Kill C! Kill C! Okay, good. Yeah, there you go. Oh god! Well, that was awful. A lot of experience though. Hurry up and go back and heal. Oh, actually, can I even heal her with a nap? I don't know if going to sleep will cure a fainting. What the fuck is that? Great, another weird thing. A mook, huh? Okay. And knows a lot of PSI abilities. I'm not that surprised, honestly. Alright, not that strong. Use various PSI attacks. So this might be one you want to do PSI block on. Got it. So yeah, we're starting to get more unique alien enemies, so be on your guard. I keep forgetting to heal him. Uh-oh. And it's getting deadly again. Well, get out of here, crocodile. Even a smash hit doesn't kill it. Jesus, these things have a lot of HP. Okay, I think if I run into three of them at once, I should probably just consider running away. Because they have this much health. Oh, okay. Auto will actually go to healing spells if they need it. All right, good to know. Go out of their way to do the right thing. They'll try to heal your allies if they're nearly dead. Okay, good to know. Yeah, take one up a level. Fight increased by two. Speed increased by three. Wisdom increased by three. Strength increased by two. Force increased by three. HP increased by thirteen. PP increased by six. Oh, poor hole. Oh, come on! I just want to get her back to the house. She can heal. Oh god, we got multiple of these things. Well, doesn't really matter right now, so I'm gonna eat myself out of this and bye. 16 PP for a guaranteed runaway. I will take it. Well, that means they stop following me. Why is Buddy's dad here anyway? I wonder. Yeah, like I figured. Okay, yep. I should have figured, but. Well, there you go. If your ally is fainted, you cannot heal them with rest. So, yep. That sucks. Huh. You know, and I have to test something. Can I teleport from here? Because if so, that might save me some time in the long run. Oh, yeah, don't, re don't forget, you should use bread. Yep, I should use bread. Sorry, forgot about that. What? Well, there we go. She's fine. All right, then. Let's try this out and see if it works. So, time for teleporting to back to Youngtown. Ow. You have a lot of room up here. You should probably make use of it. So, time for the experiment to see if this works here. 
Oh, you only turn every once in a while. Oh, God damn it! look what you did! You ran to a rave, you did. It's not even necessary to fight the thing. Just get away! There should be a lot of room here, right? Oh, God damn it! I just wanted to move a couple steps! You gotta be kidding me, dude. Get the hell out of my way! I just want to teleport back to Youngtown! Alright, so remember, please use breadcrumbs. I'll try to remember that. Let's try this again! Teleport! To Youngtown! Oh god, whoa! Ah! So you can do it for Magic Kid! So that's where it was in the world! Yeah. I can't even explain that one. Wherever the hell that is, I have no idea what to call that at all! But yeah, there you go, that will get you there. So, cool stuff! I am glad we went out of our way to do that. So yep, that will get you back to Youngtown! So there you go! If you want to get to Youngtown, there's your quick method to do so. Not that I need to do this, but I'm going to do it since I'm here anyway. Oh, so yep, now you know. Once you get past where Pippi is, prepare for pain. Alright, so, I can basically teleport back to a town that has a hospital, and there's the breadcrumbs to run back. So I don't think teleport ruins the breadcrumb trail. I don't think. And I can always teleport back here, so I'm not worried about needing a breadcrumb trail back here anymore. So I should only need one or two at a time now. So I'm needing like three or four breadcrumb trails. And again, that is a waste of bread. I have wasted a lot of bread over the years. Hi, Starman! Good to see you! My friend! I can't wait to kill your race. I hope you all die. Oh, crap! You're trying to do a regular attack. What an idiot! Your strings in your PSI, your PSI. Why are you not doing that? Oh god. Yeah, this road is pretty rough too. Like, from getting from one town to the next, this is definitely the worst road. Then again, we are getting close to the end of the game. Believe it or not, we are getting there. Because don't forget, the next town, friggin' LA, is the last major town. After that, we are just going on a trek towards the last area, and that'll be it. Well, we need to get the melodies, too, but... You know what I mean. We have very little left after this. It's all about, you know... Perseverance. Oh, hi, Nancy. Cool to see you again, I guess. Let me kill you with your... With your favorite, PK Beam Beta! You love this beam, don't you? I know I do. It's my favorite to use on you, because I hate you. There we go. Now she's dead. Man, everybody has to go in full offensive to beat that bitch. I mean, I like her better than Kelly, at least. Kelly thinks she's better than everybody else. Nancy, at least, you know, hides the facade. She knows she's not that good. She at least just tries to hide it. Where Kelly actually thinks she's all that. I get wanted to fake it, but, you know, you don't have to go that hard, is all I'm saying. Don't want to fake me, whatever you are. Then again, I hate people for how they act. That's their actions I make. I hate them for, not what they are, not what they look like, not what defines their physical traits. I only go after them if they're a jerk. If you're mean to people, yeah, I hate you. <laughs> and your actions definitely speak louder than words. I wonder how many people even believe that that saying. That actions speak louder than words. I honestly don't know how many people believe that saying. Because it's a, uh... Seems like a very cop-out saying to have. Oh, God. I do not like these energy robots. Although, then I have to ask... How far do you accept somebody for their physical ailments? By which I mean, like... You know... Does it get to a point... And they become so inhuman, it's not worth, like, treating them like a human being anymore. You mean if they become a monster? Yeah, I mean... Huh. Ow! Not cool, man. Not cool at all. But yeah, I guess it is worth asking, like... How far is it worth, you know... Treating somebody, like... Respectfully, even if you know they're a dick. 
I guess that's more I'm thinking, like... How mean could somebody be before you stop, stop treating them like a normal person? That's where weight races would be worth it in a way. Wait, what the hell are these seagulls? I haven't found these before. At least before now, anyway. May as well check them now. Um, yeah, let's, um... Let's be one of them. Huh, they seem to be able to... Ow, seagulls are strong! What the shit? Ow, poor buddy. Getting blasted by seagulls. Uh-oh, this could be rough, too. That thief! Oh, God, it's an upgrade of the crow, basically. It's already telling me is. They can steal items. Well, let's kill them either way. They're going after Buddy real hard. They really want him dead. No, oh, the bread! I need that bread, you fucker! How dare you take my bread from me? You have no idea how much I use that bread. Okay, they're definitely weaker than the crocodiles. To a point. Well, let's heal. There we go. Goddamn, hole. Getting real messed up there. Oh, well. Alright, so... When you get near the house, stronger enemies start coming. Seagulls, though? Really? Seagulls? I... I don't know what to say. Just... What the hell? Seagulls? For real? I mean, fine. I guess seagulls are fine one way or another. Alright. Now let's leave some bread around. There we go. Onward! Back to adventure! Or hopefully I won't die. Okay, one crocodile I can easily handle. That I'm fine with. It's where it gets beyond that I start to have a problem. Just gotta do what I can to murder the thing quickly. Oh, the beam seems to be doing less. Ha ha! You missed, bitch! Take his croc! Oh, man. I mean... Huh, you know, it would be mean to me to say, like... I mean, it's not that I would be, like, hating somebody for the way they look, but I will say, if it's, like, so different from, like, what I would be used to seeing, like, regular people like, I guess I could say it would be uncomfortable. I mean... Oh, man. This is gonna become like, a really dark conversation. Like, for example, I... Oh, I was about to say I hate. That's not the word I want to use. Oh, cool! Energy robot! Guess that means I'm fucking running away. Peace! Thanks for the memories, dickhead. Oh, God. I guess this is the right way to go. This sucks. My God! How far do I have to go in here? Uh-oh. I hope I didn't go backwards. That would be embarrassing. I ended up going backwards through all this. Well, yeah... It's all about... Well... Huh. I have to really think about that. Because... I don't know. I hate to say I would think less of somebody because of a physical deformity. That is pretty fucked up, honestly. They can't help that. Hey, that's not what I mean. Like, I don't know. Wow, I love that bridge. It feels useless, honestly. <laughs> it's a useless bridge! At least I think it is. Either way, I just... Huh. How I, I'm really trying to think of a way to freeze this, like... I really don't know how I want to phrase this. I'm scared to keep going further in my thoughts here, because... This could get worse before it even gets close to getting better. Can you just get to your point already? Oh, sorry. I guess all I'm trying to say is that... You know, racism and sexism and being against people for their religions is not the way to go. It's all their actions. Now, if you can be uncomfortable with people, that's one thing. Like, yeah, you can be uncomfortable with the way a person acts or, you know. I guess that's how I feel. Like, I always see somebody that's, like, clearly, like, abnormal. I would be uncomfortable. Like, I don't know. It's one of those things you have to get used to the person to really, you know, get comfortable with them. I'm not somebody who opens up to people very easily, so, you know, 
If, all, if I saw somebody acting very differently from what I'm used to most, seeing most people act, I would be scared. If I see somebody look a lot different from most people, I would be scared. I guess that's kind of the basis of all that shit, huh? They're against my beliefs. They can't be normal. Kind of fucked up to think that way, but you know what? It's, I guess it's just kind of fear. Things being different from you are, is a way for, you know, coping. That fear just shows you don't understand it. Yeah, that is one way to look at it. For all we know, casual things like racism and sexism could just be fear. You think I'm afraid of those pieces of shit? Yeah, if you're willing to go out of your way to make fun of them as if you're better than them. It feels like you're overcompensating for something. That's all this whole conversation was trying to be, and I kept trying to veer away from it for some reason. But yeah, racism and sexism aren't cool. You judge people based on their actions, not on, well, you know, their physical traits. And sometimes you face all their physical traits or their beliefs, and it's just dumb. And at the end of the day, it's just like, do you really need to offend them? Did you really need to be offended by them for this? Or try to make fun of them for this? Like, if there's one thing I'll make fun of people for, it's being stupid. Hey, I know what that's like. I know about being stupid. Can you stop blinding people, you dick? Damn you! Stop spreading the blindness disease. I would hate that as a disease. Oh, buddy leveled up! His fight increased by two, his speed increased by two, his wisdom increased by four, his wisdom increased by three, his force increased by two, HP increased by one. Eh, no, that's a right home about there, huh? He's leveled up in one way. Oh, cool! It's a crocodile! Oh, good! I'm gonna get up behind and stick my finger up its bottle! Um, please don't. What accent are you doing right now? What character are you doing? I don't know what's going on! I'm sorry. I got into I got it in my head. You wanted to stick your thumb up a crocodile's butt? Um Ignore me! I think it's probably for the best we ignore him. You're not wrong. Oh come on! What do you both think I'm a freak? Honestly? Wow. I've never been so offended before. Well, at least we kill that fucker. Damn yeah, right. Ow! And these things have high attack power, though. It's kind of not cool. You know, I have a feeling this won't work. But I'm going to try it anyway. I feel like I'm going to regret doing this, too. It's probably not a good idea. Yeah, there's no effect. It probably doesn't even have PP to steal. It's a crocodile! If it had psychic powers, I would be surprised. At least there are some new supernatural things, like spiders and stuff. I could see them having weird, crazy supernatural powers, but... Oh, sweet. Weak enemies. But yeah. Not a freaking crocodile. Stare into my eyes as I eat you. That's right. Hypnotism is my specialty. That's stupid. Crocodiles should not have hypnotism. That's just stupid. Please never suggest anything like that again. Is that bad? Oh, hold on up, finally! Speed increased by two, wisdom increased by four, speed increased by two, force increased by four, and speed increased by five, PP increased by four. No new spells, though, huh? What good are you? <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. She's good enough. Enough. How far is it till we get to somewhere? Then again, this place is big. It's a long maze, this swamp. Oh crap, we gotta end this episode soon. God damn it. All right, I got a better idea. You do this. In case he gets a sharp hit, which he did not. A smashing hit, I should say. It's a smashing success. Ho oh, ho. Ow, the pain. Oh God. Kill that thing with fire. Um, I'd rather just use this beam. Sorry, that was a turn of phrase. Just kill it. Well, it works for me. Kill with beam! Thank God they're slow. Ugh. Them being slow makes it a lot easier. Ugh. Alright, I'm starting to get more confident against these enemies. Yeah, I guess I should be, huh? How much further do I have to go? Oh my God! Oh, hi, Kelly. Well, you don't have the... The energy thing with you, so I actually feel like killing you now. So it has darkness. 
That's the one thing he seems to have. But his physical attack is mighty as hell. I mean, I may as well do this again just for the heck of it, just in case. So I guess one good strategy for dealing with this... You probably just want to hide your defense when you fight it. Kelly did something strange. But he is daydreaming. Oh, God. Puzzlement. Oh, shit. Basically, they're confused. That's always fun. That's only in battle, though. Ooh, whole learned a new power. What'd you learn this time? Well, we look this way, the way we always do. What do you have this time? Uh, power shield! Oh, that's what I think you put that on to deflect attacks. It'll block and deflect and counter half the damage. That's a beautiful one. Either that, or it blocks some um, psychic attacks. Which is also useful in its own way. Well, either way... Let's try to go back. Yeah! Well, oh god, everyone flew off in different directions! Um, guys, you're supposed to follow me. That's how this works, you know. I forgot to put bread there. Fuck! That was the whole point! You were supposed to put bread there! So we can go back there, you dumbass! Well, we need to go back to Pippi's house. That's still an annoying trip. Son of a bitch! I'm so stupid. Oh. I don't have a lot of bread anyway. I didn't have any backup bread. So, it looks like I would have had to do this anyway. Oh, I'm so sorry, everybody. Alright. Well. At the very least. I can make use of what I have on. I'll buy three pieces of bread. I did I did get one stolen. I did forget I had one stolen from me. That was part of what happened. But yeah, don't be mean to people based on their beliefs, or their looks, or their gender, or their hairstyle. Most hairstyles, anyway. Like, yeah, I know, I know I say this, and you know, not everybody's perfect, of course, but... You know, I'm like, I'm really good about it to a point, like, if it's to the point you have something that's really abnormal, like, it's like, so different from everybody else, that's where I'm scared. Not that I'd be going after you, basically telling you're a piece of shit, I'd be scared. Honestly, I, that's kind of an optimistic way to look at racism and sexism. It's fear. <laughs> I'm afraid of women! I know they'll overtake us someday, but white man's gonna get their comeuppance! Yeah. I can see it. Hey. It's an eye for an eye. Oh, God. Come on. That's the immature way to handle it. Don't be like that. Well, either way, come back next time. We're going to explore the swamp again. Well, at least now I have bread. So, yeah, it's a good idea to have a bunch of bread. You may want to run, run away from seagulls. You want don't want to lose that bread. At least I didn't take the crumbs. We at least get back to, like, the corner point. I explored a lot of that place. We still didn't get far. God damn, the swamp sucks. This is why I hate the swamps. This is why I hate the swamp water. It's terrible. Never ever take me there again. <laughs>